Hi, my name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Valentine's Day painting. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for stopping back by to paint with me today. So I am going to be showing you how to create your very own Valentine's Day painting today. It's going to be super fun and super simple. That way you can focus on your Valentine and not so much on the painting and just have some fun with it. Um, so this one is going to be perfect for uh, if you're doing a date night with your boo, if you are doing a ladies night or just a friends night, or even if you're doing a solo painting sip, um, this is perfect for any occasion and it's super fun and simple. And it's also inspired by our home girl Barbie. Um, a lot of us, before we had a lot of options, um, a lot of us grew up with Barbie and that was our girl. So of course we had to have her man Ken. That was our first little relationship. And today we are going to be using um, their relationship to create a nice little Valentine's Day painting. Um, but before we get started, we are going to go over our supplies and also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. So you don't miss the next tutorial and as always if you have any suggestions of paintings you would like to do make sure you leave them in the comments that way we can do some fun paintings together so as always i am using a 16 by 20 inch canvas you can use the canvas size of your choice it's completely up to you we are doing some drawing today so you do want to make sure that you have a permanent black marker i am using the fine point or you can use a pencil whichever one you have or whatever works best for you you also want to make sure that you have some different size acrylic brushes and some paper towel to dry your brushes off on you want to make sure you have a water cup with some cool water to wash your brushes out and then today i'm only using a few colors so i'm working with acrylic paint and i am using the colors mars black titanium white and bright red and as always you want to make sure that you grab the drink of your choice if you're 21 and up make sure you grab yourself a nice valentine's day cocktail if you're not 21 and up that's okay just grab yourself a nice little um pop some water or something to get you through the painting um and today i'm having my valentine's day cocktail in my personalized tumbler by the project chick make sure you check her out she is linked down in the description and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so i am going to start by actually drawing out the silhouette of my little couple of ken and barbie um and i want to do my silhouette i'm going to do ken and barbie right here in the middle again if you want to do yours differently it's completely up to you and any changes that you want to make to um your ken and your barbie or your guy and your girl however you're doing it feel free to make those changes so that your painting is more personal and more special to you so i'm going to start out by drawing ken and all i'm going to do i am going to take my hand right at the top here and i'm not spreading my fingers i want to keep my hand together and i'm going to make a little mark under my thumb just showing me how far i want to start now so from there from that little mark i am going to do a line going down first for a bit of a curve line for his forehead and then i'm going to curve down to create his nose i'm going to curve again twice to make his lips almost like i did a little backwards three and then i'm going to come down some more and curve in for his chin now i want to turn this into his neck so i'm going to curve that way and then from here i'm just going to bring it down so i didn't take it straight down i did kind of curve it out a bit and when i go back to the top to create his actual hair what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull towards the front just a little bit. You don't have to pull a lot. And then I'm going to create the curve. You can curve it back as much or as little as you want. I'm going to pull for his neck area and then pull that straight down. Now, once you have it like that, I am going to actually go in and um, Ken's head is actually a little more like this um, because, of course, he has more of a sleeker look. I am going to go in and make his head a little bit more um, kind of like an actual haircut, like more like a, um, 
a lower kind of fro almost so i'm gonna make it a little more boxy if you like it at this point you can definitely leave it as is but i'm gonna go back and you see how i made that more of a square towards the back and same thing i'm gonna keep the back the same now also if you want to if you like it how it is here you can leave it as is or if you want to make his shoulders broader you can also bring it back so those small changes you can definitely make how you want now we're gonna go to barbie so for barbie i'm still going to um start her head off the exact same way with that with the forehead line but i want her to be a little bit shorter than him if you want yours the same height or even taller it's completely up to you make this personal so i am going to start around a, a little bit lower than the area i started for him and i'm going to curve down and make her little nose and then i'm going to do a little curve there and i'll also give her a backwards three for her lips And for her chin, I kind of curved in a little bit more. And I'm gonna go. Now, I did give her a little more in the front, so I did curve in for the neck and then out a little more in the front. Now, for Barbie, I wanna give her a ponytail, so I am still gonna go make that line again, but I'm just gonna curve it up. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna do a little line here. And then from there, I'm gonna curve down, create the line for her neck, and then take that down. Now I do wanna make her neck a little bit wider, so I'm gonna go back in there. And now for her ponytail, I'm gonna come, that little curve that I left in there, come back up. So we have her ponytail, we have her body, we have our can. And again, any changes that you want to go in and make, you definitely can. So if you want to make anything um, bigger, if you want to make any changes to the facial features, it's completely up to you. Like I'm going to go in and kind of pull her back out a little bit more. And I'm going to actually go in and pull her neck out just a little bit more and curve that more in the front. And once you have it drawn how you want, you are completely done with this part. You don't have to worry about any more drawing. Now we're going to move to the painting. So I am going to use a bigger brush. So you just want to grab one of your bigger flat brushes or a bigger round brush. You just want to make sure it's a bigger brush. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my red and I want to create a heart in between them. Well, right, it's actually gonna be right over them, but the center of the heart is gonna be in the middle. So, I'm gonna curve on that side. Curve on that side. And I'm gonna take this red and I'm gonna repeat these lines a few more times. So I'm gonna repeat it again at the top here. So I'm just kind of making a V since the canvas kind of cuts it off. And then I'm gonna curve Same thing over here, curve over. And then on the ends here, I'm gonna do a curve right on the corners. Now, I'm not gonna wash this red off my brush. I am gonna wipe a little bit of it like on my plate or paper towel because I don't want a whole lot of red. I'm actually gonna go into my white and everything right here in the middle, I'm gonna get filled in. So you don't have to, um, even though we drew the line over them, I'm not gonna go over, um, like actually paint this color over them. I'm going to still stay inside of my heart, but I'm gonna go in between and around their faces. I'm not gonna paint all of this pink over them. And if a 
little bit does get in there, that's fine. Um, you just don't want to put all, like, you just don't want to paint it all over them. And again, I'm just using a lot of white because I do want this to be on the pinker side. middle circle or well, the middle heart filled in what I'm gonna do is I want to um, get the second layer around them filled in and I want this one to be a little bit darker so we're creating a heart gradient behind them in the background but right on my plate I'm gonna mix up white and just a little bit of red because I still want this to be pink as well but I don't want it to be too dark yet and I but I do want it to be darker than what I already have on the canvas so as you can see right there if it's still around the same shade add um some more red in to darken it up and i'm still painting around my silhouettes Once you have that second layer filled in, I am going to move on to this third layer kind of out here. But what I want to do for this one, I'm going to keep using the same shade that I have, but I want to make it a little bit darker again. So I'm adding more red to make it a little bit darker. And you can put it right next to it to make sure that it's a bit darker. I'm gonna add a little more red. Okay. And remember, you're just going around their silhouettes, around your drawing. You don't wanna put anything inside of there. to make it more darker so I'm just gonna add more red to my mixture mix that in good um, or if you just want to if you want to use just the red you can use red by itself and it's definitely going to be darker than the pink that you have Once you have all of those in there, I am gonna go back in and bring out the gradient a little bit more. And I am gonna simply do that by washing my brush out because I wanna get a lot of that red out of there. And I'm gonna go into my white and I'm going back inside of this center. And I'm just kind of adding a little bit of white on top because my heart is still pretty wet. This white is gonna blend right in if your paint is not still wet um add a, just a small amount of red to your brush so that it doesn't um so that you're able to blend out this lighter paint but it should still be wet so as long as it's still wet you can just pick up white by itself and paint right on top of everything you already had because we want to lighten this up a little bit more go in and lighten up my pink some more so I'm gonna do 
more of that pink, um, the red and white on my plate. And I'm gonna go into that second area that I had, just lightening that up. And I'm only going to do that on the first and second section. Now, what I am going to do to add just a little bit more detail, I'm going to switch to a medium round brush. And I'm going to pick up just white. And what I'm going to do is add some white highlight lines to help bring the hearts out even more. So you see how I kind of outlined that uh, heart in white? So I'm just kind of outlining the hearts to help them stand out more. You can even add some where the darker areas are. It's completely up to you. And even if you want to add like some extra little highlighted lines, as if the heart is like really radiating. Like it's just pumping out, pumping out love. Don't you just love love? So that is all I'm going to do for that part. And right now it looks a little bit crazy, of course, because we have lines all over them. But we do want to let this background dry before we start to add anything else. Um, so while it's drying, as always, you can take a break, have a sip of your drink. Or if you don't want to let it dry, you can always use a blow dryer. Make sure you use it on cool heat um, and blow dry it. But again, if not, if you're taking a break, just give yourself about 5 to 10 minutes. And then we'll start back on the next step. Three days later. All right, so once your painting is completely dry, it's time to get our Barbie and Ken filled in. Um, so I am going back to my medium sized brush and I'm just gonna be using black paint. I'm filling them completely in because this is gonna be a silhouette of them. Um, so I'm just filling everything completely filled in. So everything that um, you drew with the marker, you're getting all of that completely filled with black paint. And if it's easier, you can always go through and actually outline it with the paint first. Then you can just paint everything in. Whichever way works for you. But I'm going to go ahead and get these completely filled. And then we'll move to the last step in a few.
right, so once you have finished filling in your silhouettes um, completely with black, you should be able to clearly see your Barbie and Ken or your guy and girl, whoever you choose for it to be. Um, it's giving me very much, you know, love at first sight, teenage love affair. I love it. Um, and the last thing you want to make sure to do is to simply sign your painting. So I am going to use a small brush and a little bit of black paint. And I'm just signing it right in the corner. And once you have signed your painting, you are all done with your Valentine's Day painting. Thank you so, so much for painting with me today. As always, if you have any suggestions or things that you would like to paint with me, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. And make sure that you like um, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial.